एक ओंकार सतनाम सेरी वाहे गुरु 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 Satnam my friend Satnam what a beautiful morning frosty crispy fresh so important to go for a walk okay so let me ask you a question have you ever thought about what your life is about what's life about why are we doing what we're doing all the great people in the world Jesus, Guru Nanak, Mother Teresa, whoever came in this world, presidents, whoever prime ministers, whoever did something good, they stood up and they spoke and they changed the minds of millions of people. That's the whole point of standing up. But what was guiding them? They had some kind of philosophy about life. they had something some moral compass some ethical compass or some spiritual direction and they had to stand up and they had to share that with the world even if it meant they had to die so what's your philosophy on life what do you believe in when you talk what's your motivation what are you trying to say or are you just passing time wasting time aimlessly wandering through life like a leaf being blown in the wind depending which way the wind is blowing north south east and west or or do you have a direction do you know where you're going what do you believe what's life about so let's look at guru nanak dev ji he never wrote this but people say to summarize his teachings you can say there were three golden rules of guru nanak dev ji naam japna naam is god's name remember god's name vand ke shakna share with others and then eat or partake and kirt karna honest work so very simple very simple thing in a modern way you could say naam japna represents your personal salvation what are you doing for your spirit kirt karna work honesty means your prosperity and vand ke shakna share with others and then take part take yourself what does that mean others social upliftment just don't become prosperous yourself save yourself and then not care about anyone else for example when the when there was terrible hurricanes and bad weather in america a few years ago as a very famous preacher in Houston and he's all worldwide on the TV his church is more like a stadium 10000 people can fit in there and the people there you know they're taking care of their personal salvation and their prosperity very well dressed very well off very rich church so they're taking care of their personal salvation they're very prosperous but when that hurricane hit when it hit houston people became homeless people lost their houses they had nowhere to stay did he open the church did he open that huge arena and take and become a shelter for those people no he did not so the social upliftment is not there a 
And what about us personally in our life? Are we just focusing on our personal prosperity? At the end of the day, you know, we want kids, our kids to get educated. We spend so much money on their tuitions. We want them to go to the best colleges, have the best best universities, have the best education, get a great job, earn lots of money, have a house, get married, have kids. As parents, we want our kids to sort of do what we did and go further. And my parents came from a farm. Had a, had, my dad had to study with an oil lamp with moths fly, flying around it in the middle of the night. He had to cycle to school for so many miles on an old rusty bike. But when he came here, he worked hard. He, has, he was a manual worker. Even though he was degree educated, he couldn't get those jobs. So his father sent him here to be more prosperous than himself as a farmer. And my dad worked hard and he wanted us kids to go into the be professionals, which we are. And we want, so me, my brother, sister, family, you know, we're professionals now at our level. And we want our kids to go on and be leaders. So we're all very driven with survival, personal prosperity. But what about personal salvation? What are we doing for our spirit? And, and what are we doing for the people around us who are not so prosperous? Walk, it's easy to walk by homeless people. It's easy to watch on the news People have lost their homes, had terrible tragedies. But that's just for entertainment, isn't it? Their suffering and their loss is our entertainment. Because we, unless we read those stories and pray for them, God bless their soul. And better than that, go do something practical get involved with something that touches your heart. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji, to summarize, what was his meaning of life? Why did he stand up? Why did he go around for most of his life, north, south, east and west, all around India and beyond? What was he, what did he make out of life that he was, it was so important for him to share that? So we People summarize it as the three golden rules of Guru Nanak. Nam Japana, meditate on God's name, your personal salvation. Vandake Shakana, share with others whatever you have and then take it yourself. So that's your social upliftment. And Girt Karna, work honestly. That's your personal prosperity. So like a golden triangle. Remember that. So take that on board. Have this golden triangle. Do each of them. Do something for each of those. Each of those points every day in your life. And that will be a great foundation. And then stand up and tell other people what your philosophy of life is and uplift them as well. God bless you. Satnam Ikonkar Satnam Siri Vahe Guru Konkar Satnam Siri Vahe Guru